Check this out. I have a little video on replacing time belts, timing chains, whatever it might be. If you don't have time marks or if you do have time marks, this holds true to all of these. So how I swap out belts, especially preventative maintenance ones, this is how we get it done. First off, just make some marks between all the sprockets and the belt. And if you do have time marks, highlight those two. You got left cam, right cam, and then of course the crankshaft. Just make some kind of mark on the pulleys or gears and then transfer those marks to the belt. So when you replace the new belt, we'll trace them onto the new one. Check this out. Stack it up. And we'll lay it cog for cog or tooth for tooth because they are identical and we'll transfer now, our marks. Actually, we're going to do it. So, what we'll do is you line up your marks on the belt, start with the C for the crankshaft, and then count the number of teeth over. And you just keep going around and keeping the belt lined up so you don't skip a tooth until you find your next mark and then transcribe your marks over to the new belt again. And that's all you got to do. Now, here's my next one coming up right here and this is going to be the right camshaft so what i'll do mark that and i've got the right no well, now i can mark that as my reference point keep the number of teeth still counting the number the same thing two to two and then there's my next mark that's for the left side camshaft I'll put a little L on here. And if I got it right, here's how I can check it. I should be able to go all the way around. Tooth for tooth still lined up. You can see it all nice and lined up. Then I should come back around here and be spot on. And I am. There's my mark and mark. So this belt is ready to reinstall. And the really cool thing about this technique is, even if the camshaft requires a special tool to hold it in place or the chain, or whatever it might be, as long as you replace the timing belt for preventive maintenance, you're going to go tooth for tooth, number of same teeth. The engine has no idea you've replaced these things. So we're going to put it, the new belt back on exactly the same way the old belt was. So the timing marks aren't really as critical as long as you transfer your marks tooth for tooth 100%. So it's basically as simple as this. Go ahead and start up on the crankshaft. Get your mark lined up there. Go to one of the camshafts. Make sure your line, mark's lined back up like you see here. Stab back under the water pump, whatever else it runs around. And then line up your other camshaft, and you'll see that all of your marks are transferred. And if they do all line up just the same as the original belt, then you should be good to go. Hit the key, fire it up, go on down the road, no worries. And no special tools required. I use this technique half for years, and I don't have to worry about buying any special things. Check us out. Lines up my paint marks, come around here, left cam, right cam, and check out the crankshaft just the same. Go down here, you'll see there's the mark what I had made. It lines up with that cog and that groove in there. And then we pull the grenade pin, of course, that tensions the belt. But we are good to pull the pin and let this thing go. And I'm not having no concerns about it being out of time or out of whack. So this thing should be 100% ready to go. Well, so there you have it, replacing a timing belt on a car. Sometimes don't always have time marks or require a special tool. You have variable cam timing. Now, of course, always use caution. You don't want it to bend valves, but the, all the idea here to lay it out there is if the belt is being replaced for preventative maintenance, the car ran fine before, had no issues, it will run fine when you're done. Let's say you had to get in and replace that water pump. You gotta pop the belt off. What do you do? Crap, I don't know where the timing marks are doesn't really matter. You're going to make your own marks by marking the belt, marking each one of the cams, anything with a gear or a cog wheel on that, you want to mark and just transfer your mark. So especially, let's say you put the original belt back on, even easier. I will guarantee you at that point that you should have no issues as long as you follow it step for step, put it back on basically exactly the way you removed it. So like I said, sometimes it says you got to use a special tool to hold the camshafts uh, for different reasons no need to be concerned with that whatsoever and this even works for timing chains ford's notorious for making making a timing chain with a special colored length you got to turn around line it up count the teeth whatever it doesn't matter you can still do the same thing clean the chain thoroughly use like a paint marker make marks on all the cams on the chain and reinstall it the way you move it that's the basics of the whole thing don't over complicate it you're going to take the belt off Put it right back on the exact same way. You're just making marks so you can confirm everything you suspect. Now, if it has tie marks, go ahead and try to line them up the way you can verify it's good. But if the car ran great before, it should run great when you're done. So just wanted to share that tip with you. I still use it today. Share with the technicians. Hey, don't get too carried away, stressed out, trying to find tie marks. Or if you do find tie marks, it's a great fail safe to guarantee you that cam hasn't kicked. Or sometimes when you have that little swoop around the water pump, 
maybe it's got a little too much slack and you may be off a tooth. So this will remedy that problem if you mark it. If it's lined up, you are good to go. So I want to appreciate, I guess, share that little fact with you. Well, I've done these things. Hopefully that helps you out. Not sure if you ever see too much of that on a Pontiac engine, but I like to tinker with all makes, models, and all kinds, because that's what originally or originated this channel was eh, anything automotive in a two-car garage. So we're still making that happen. We still focus on fibers, but we still tinker with stuff like this. So again, hope you find this tip helpful. Appreciate you following me on the journey, and we'll catch you guys next time.